Happy October 10th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party entered the Dark Woods, where we discovered all the trees are diseased, fragile, frail, and lifeless. We dodged a tree that nearly fell on us, and we dodged the tree that it knocked down, and the tree that it knocked down, and so on. The ensuing dusty disease cloud caused us some minor respiratory distress. We took one point of damage. We're down to 24 from 27. And that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. There are signs that this part of the woods was once inhabited, though there are no critters around. Explore the dark woods. Um, I assume... I don't know where we're starting from. I don't know where we're trying to get to. Maybe... Maybe one is the exit. So we'll just go left to right here. Two, three, one, four, five or so. Area two. Stairs lead up to a moss covered door nestled inside a tree. No one responds to your knocking. Roll D20 plus strength. Reminder locksmith. We get a nine plus three is 12. We are not a locksmith. Um, we have one in the party. Mm, this is the best result though. The door wedges open, and inside you find dusty furniture indicating a long-abandoned home. A small collection of peculiar trinkets might be worth two amber once you sell them. Um, the way this has worked in the past, uh, we just go ahead and add two amber, because it never really gives you an opportunity to sell stuff in this game. So we're up to 92. Okay. That was area two. Area three. A series of rope bridges lead across the canopy of the trees. They are missing planks and are clearly hazardous to use. Perhaps you can cross safely if you take your time and concentrate. Roll d20 plus constitution. We got one. Okay, we can, we're we not crossing safely. <laughs> the worst result. You slip from the rope bridge and fall to the ground. Um, we're going to ignore the fact that Ivy's uh, a bird, or maybe we'll use this in the uh, in the mythic personal uh, quest when next we play that. Okay, we Ivy slips from the rope bridge and falls to the ground. Reduce your health by one. You may try this again until you succeed. If you do, gain a plus one bonus for each new attempt. Okay, sure. Um, there's one point down. <laughs> I don't know how many we're going to lose here. Uh, constitution, right? Um, roll d20 plus constitution. There we go. 20. Um, that's the best result. You reach the end of the series of bridges to discover a shrine holding a carving of a tree made of pure amber. It is worth 5 amber once you sell it. All right. That takes us to 97. And... We've never had triple digits amber. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark off this point of health. We're down to 23 health. 23. Okay, that was area 3. Uh, maybe we cross the bridge. It can be bridged to area 4. Some lanterns are mounted on a few trees with fireflies inside being used to keep them lit. That's curious. Uh, since no one appears to live here. Roll d20 plus charisma reminder bug tamer. So, 6 plus a charisma of 2 is 8. Uh, we would need 6 more points to get the best result, and I don't think we can come close. We do have a bug tamer. No, we don't. Yes, we do. He needs a bug tamer. That would get us 2, and we Baron could maybe get us 1. Otherwise, yeah, uh, we're not getting that. So this is the worst result. The cute bugs are not trapped. They have made these lanterns their homes and enjoy living here. Okay, <laughs> good. Uh, that explains that. We'll come down the trees to area five here. Uh, you encounter an unusual patch of flowers that seem to whisper to each other in the wind. That's cool. They react to your presence. Their petals rustling as though sharing secrets. Roll d20 plus wisdom. 
Uh, arcane Adept. We're not an Arcane Adept. Wow, our, our rolls are not great today. Seven plus two wisdom is nine. Can we get three more points? We do have a consumable. We can probably get this. We need three more points. Let's try first tank. Tank can get us one point, I think, if... Where are you, tank? Here we go. One point of wisdom if we draw a spade. Is that a spade or a club? Uh, I think that's a spade. Spade greater than or equal to four. Here we go. And, oh, that's a club. So, tank doesn't help us there. We need three more points. Ivy gets a plus one if she uses this potion. What do we need? Wisdom. So we have one sage leaf over here. We would need to roll a two. On a D4. And this is what we have the stuff for. So let's... Oh, you know what? We have our boon die. Let's use that first. <laughs> That's a D4. And we get three, which is exactly what we need. And we save our sage to leave for another day. Uh, we're done with that. And this. And this. And that is the best result for area five. The flowers convey a secret location to a power source. You follow the instructions and find a larger flower. Once you get near it, you feel a surge of power heal D4 health. Well, that's handy. And we get two. So we're up to 25. Uh, total possible is 27. So we're feeling pretty good. And let's see. Area one. You find a path beyond leading deeper into the woods. You can stop now or continue to explore before returning here. And we have explored everywhere on this page. So that, my friends, is October 10th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.